Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.2, number 25. And here we were given an arithmetic sequence. And whenever I hear arithmetic, oops, let me write that correctly, arithmetic, I think about how I need to find that D value, that common difference. Um, typically when I'm working with arithmetic sequences, not only do I want to find D, I also like to find A sub 1. Um, you don't have to, but those are usually two really good numbers to have moving forward. So if I look at what they gave me, they gave me a sub 3 and they gave me a sub 10 and said, hey, can you find a sub 21? So I'm going to put a little pin in this, finding the a sub 21. The first thing I'm going to concentrate on is finding my d value. So if I take a look at what they did give me, they gave me a sub 3 and they gave me a sub 10. And let's start to think about how do we get in a sequence from a sub 3 to a sub 10. And you can see... From 3 to 10, that is 7 terms down, and if this is arithmetic, I would have added D 7 times. And if you're wondering where the 7 comes from, think about 10 minus 3, right? That is 7 terms down the line. So that's where you see me going to this formula here, that A sub 10, well, if I start at A sub 3 and I add 7 Ds, I do get to A sub 10. So then I go ahead and I plug in for the, the letters that I have, right? Negative 15.7, negative 17.1, and I solve for D. So great, I get my D value taken care of. I know D is 0.2. Now, there's a couple of ways to go about finding A sub 21. I'm gonna show you two ways. Let me talk about the way that's written here, and then I wanna show you an alternate way. So I could do the same idea that I used here. I could use it for A sub 21. I could say it was A sub 3 plus 18D. And where am I getting 18? Well, if we have 21 terms, and we think about the third term, that is 18 terms down the line, and you can solve for a sub 21. And so that's totally fine. Um, a different way to do it is finding the a sub 1 value. And, and that can be helpful for other reasons. So I just want to go over how you would find a sub 1 here. So let me go ahead and just take a look at a different method, like finding a sub 1 and then finding a sub 21. So if I wanted to, I could say something like a sub 3 was a sub 1 plus 2d. And again, I'm getting this 2 here because to get from 1 to 3, that is two terms down the line. Okay, well, I know a sub 3 is negative 17.1. All right, I know d is 0.2. And when I solve for a sub 1, I get negative 17.5, right? And so that is just a nice number to have. Then what you could do is you could say, well, a sub 21 was a sub 1 plus 20ds. And again, why the 20? Well, if, if we've got the 21st term here and the first term here, that is a difference of 20 terms. And then I can just plug in a sub 1 was negative 17.5, 20 times 0.2. And when I crunch that on my calculator, I get negative 13.5, which matches what I got here. So again, just two ways to do the same problem. Um, I just wanted you to see both of them. All right, thanks so much. Bye.